Uh, one of the things that Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng had chance of looking at is increasing immigration. Now, very different from staying in the EU, where you know it's anyone who wants to come and live and work here could do so from Europe. But about uh, extending more visas to workers that we need, whether it's uh, picking uh, fruit and vegetables or whether it's engineers and doctors. But Liz Truss is facing uh, her first cabinet row, uh, as it seems that many of the Brexiteers in her cabinet, the likes of Home Secretary Suella Braverman and others, are not in favour. Well, let's talk about this with Al Mehmet. He's chairman of Migration Watch UK and joins us now. Good morning to you, Al. Good morning, Julia. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people are very surprised that uh, Liz Truss would be in favour of increasing immigration. Bearing in mind, though, we've seen nothing but increased immigration for, well, I mean, frankly, as long as I've been alive. <laughs> it's quite baffling, frankly. Um, shocking, really, coming from, from a Conservative government. They're doing what uh, Peter Mandelson referred to as sending out search parties to look for foreign workers. It's, it's absolutely absurd. The system is already, since the beginning of 2021, has been opened up to people coming to work here, immeasurably opened up. What they're doing now is immigration for immigration's sake. And one thing that worried me even more than anything over the weekend was hearing that Suella Braverman and, indeed, uh, uh, Kemi Badenoch, and Kevin Badenock in particular, was being pressed to uh, sign up to a deal with the Indians uh, that will effectively bring back free movement of labour with uh, the, the whole country. 1.4 billion people. That's three times the size of the EU. What on earth is that all about? And I'm delighted, really, that Kemi Badenock, Suella Braverman, Jacob Rees-Mogg are resisting this. Absolutely right, because it's what Conservative vote voters want. They want to bring down immigration, not increase it. Yeah, and that's the thing. We have seen those numbers increase. Whatever the pledge from David Cameron onwards, uh, you know, back of the envelope, yeah, under a, you know, under a hundred thousand. It's just carried on, and it's carried on up and up. And as we saw EU immigration come down, we saw uh, external to EU my immigration uh, going up. Now, a lot of people, and I'm among those, are very happy to have some very, very highly qualified people come here, uh, who we who we would need. But I still wonder why we don't, as one of the, you know, frankly, one of one of the top economies. In the world and I would say frankly the best country in the world to live there's a reason why you know you get a lot of uh, you know the international bankers that like, want to come here they're very wealthy they could live anywhere in the world and they choose to live here it's a wonderful country um, with so much going for it what, why on earth do we not have enough homegrown talent ourselves what is uniquely wrong with our young people that they can't train to be doctors and engineers and and and, and physicists and the like why are we not training those people up because we seem to we've got plenty of people who could go and be you know agricultural you know fruit Pickers, and we've got plenty of people who would love uh, to train up to do those jobs that we, we seem to import. So what's going wrong? Well, you're absolutely right. We should be paying a bit more. We should improve conditions for, on these back-breaking jobs rather than relying on overseas workers who are prepared to do them, frankly, yeah. at much less than the going rate. And it's not just in the low-skilled jobs. You're absolutely right. Why haven't we over the last 10 years, as the government, the governments of the day in 2010, in 2015 promised, we were going to train more of our own people, more doctors, more yeah. nurses. We've got fewer doctors now than we did in 2015. What on earth is that about? Why aren't they doing more to, to train our own rather than rel relying on people who are prepared to work for less? And that's really what it's all about, working for less. Yeah. It's and cheaper labour. And we did see wages going up as we uh, post-lockdown when there was that demand and it was no longer a sort of employer's market, it was an employee's market. And we did see those wages improve and that's what happens when you don't have that, that you know, basically unending supply of foreign labour. But again, but people want to ha see their doctor and they want uh, these jobs done. So a lot of people might say, well we'll, well, we'll import those people. But of course, then we have this small issue of where are they going to live? Where are their children going to go to school? Uh, who, which, which GP are they going to register with? And we kind of start the problem all over again, don't we? Um, Alt Mehmet, always good to talk to you, Chairman.